Dear civil engineers, welcome back to School of Civil Engineering. You know that CSS Safe 2020 software have come with a new look and new interface. So uh, we are going to create a new series of CSS Safe 2020 tutorial series uh, uh, so that you can understand how to use that software perfectly. So uh, you're seeing that this software have come with a new look like ETAP software okay so uh, if you if we uh, compare with our previous software I mean our previous CSS safe software and the uh, here if I open our previous safe software and the new software so they have huge difference between them okay so if I compare with both software now uh, we'll be able to clarify our difference so just see uh, almost <coughs> actually uh, they have removed the run option from the menu bar and also they have um, added some option like uh, here actually uh, the analysis option they have added in 2020 and 2016 uh, actually uh, the analysis option was inside of some option so uh, uh this uh, this also okay but uh, if i just go here and actually if we if we just see here they have some uh, changes because in our previous version they have no option for uh 3d plan and elevation they have only 3d x y plan view and z i mean uh they have a set elevation view but uh, now they have plan and elevation view and also uh, uh, they have added an advanced toggle view or responsive view and here you are able to go up and down okay for any reason just if you want to design slab in two plot then you will be able to go up and go down and uh, also they have a extrude view toggle but in uh, uh, CSSF 2016 that option was not available and also if you just see here they have many new option okay so they have a slab design option and also if you see um, from here show punching shared design this option was not available here i mean uh, sorry this option is not available here right now but in our previous version this option was there but they have uh, moved that option inside of our analyze or oh, sorry in display option so when we'll create a series then you will be able to understand that and if i if we just compare with that site so you can see that uh, uh they have added in 2020 they have added huge option same as if i explain you that is say i mean now this is same as etaps right so they have no difference between etaps and CSSF 2020 for that option clear and here also uh, uh they have changed many many things from here now uh if we just go new model and also if i just go here for new model now see uh in you know in this version so this is also same as etaps now we are able to use our default setting then uh, setting from our previous model and also building setting with uh, manual software just see uh, i mean uh, uh, with our manual selected design code so here you can see that we can uh, now use our steel design code then concrete design code and also see a database and also display unit but in 2016 this option was not available perfectly and also uh, in our previous version we was able to uh, initiate i mean uh, use initial model for flat slab flat parameters to a slab base plate and uh, they have uh, another i mean they have some option okay now if i just go here and if i if i just if i click here now uh, also this option are available but this is with new look and also we are able to use grid system or uh, actually this is same as like it has so if i just with uh, grid only option if i input or with grid only option if we just input then i'll click okay so here if we just com uh, compare so uh, there has no uh, report option here okay so what was there model then display then detailing but uh, here no detailing option 
right they have no detailing option and uh they have added a detailing option here now uh, if i just go edit so just see in edit option they have added replicate then uh shell mask uh, for frame for uh shell they have added hues option design add design step but if i just go here and if i go for edit option that option was not available here perfectly i mean every option was not available here okay so uh, they have changed its name also little bit but um, in our <clears throat> and if we go view option so they have use option uh, there was uh, some option here but if we just go here for view option also this is uh, same as our previous okay uh, they have some little bit change and if we go define option just now see in different option they have materials section properties spring properties group then uh section cut mass source load pattern shell uniform load case and load combination and if we just go here uh, in our uh, defined option so uh, they have uh, removed some option from here right and uh, they have beam properties uh, they have uh, they have slab properties beam properties then reinforcing bars they have inputted that option in section properties right so they have uh, actually actually they have added that very much uh, in our 2020 version and here for spring properties uh, this is for our uh, area spring line spring and point spring but uh, here for our spring properties just see uh, uh, there's soil subgrade properties that point spring and line spring they have announced the three option in one place just here so uh, in that way they have added huge option here and also uh, in default option just see here concrete slab composite beam design that uh, load combination option i mean default load combination um, option was available but also they have changed here and now if we go draw so and uh, first of all if i just go here draw so here <coughs> draw rectangular slab draw uh draw slab draw rectangular slab area quick slab area they have added huge uh, there's huge thing here but if i just go here draw just uh they have announced that uh, options very much because um, they have uh, removed that option like uh, i mean they have added that option here draw floor or wall they have uh, added huge option here like previous okay i mean uh they have huge option than previous and also in our uh, draw option so uh this option was not in same place okay i mean for particular uh element or for particular component they have arranged all component in on place and uh it will be okay when we'll use that software i mean when we'll start designing different component by using that software then you'll be able to understand or you'll be able to uh learn that how we'll use that software then from select option uh, also they have added some option like our uh, e tabs and if i just go here and for select option just see uh, they have a little option and now they have added huge option and also uh, the previous option are available but they have arranged it very much now if i just go aside in aside they have joined okay we are able to um, provide restraint spring then additional mats all right and then frame then shell uh then here tendon joint so uh, many things are available here right now okay so if i just click here just see in uh, frame okay in joint so they have many things actually here available and uh, uh anal in analysis option now we are able to change our set load case to run and run analysis run analysis and design in both option we are able to use that port of both option so uh, they have some new model but uh, here th there is a run option and from here uh, actually we are not able to uh, maintain or specify the different thing for run right uh, actually in a new version we, we will be able to now uh, i mean we'll be able to use that option uh, run analysis i mean which one we want to run and uh, which one we don't want to run so we do not want to run this option so we'll be able to uh, unlock it so they have huge facility i mean we'll get huge facility in our new version and also if i just go here display so here we'll get huge thing and uh, this option will be unlocked when we'll go for work and when we'll after analyzing our model or analyzing our slab or beam uh, or uh, the foundation will be able to use that option 
then here design and we are able to design concrete beam and beam uh, concrete slab and beam and here is still composite beam design we'll be able to use that three options only in that software and the hair detailing will get a huge facility will get a huge facility and a extra ordinary look in the detailing option and also if i just come here so in our detailing option they have no huge option uh, which are available right now and also in tools and here also in, in tools we'll be able to add some add-ons and option in option we'll get huge option here okay we'll be able to customize we'll be able to uh, customize toolbar reset my default toolbar and many things actually and if i just go our previous option so uh, actually they have no actually this is, this is really our uh, backdated version so i think uh, it's not so much good all right and your help option this is as usual previous so i think uh, this is okay and here we'll get some option also and also here some option now so uh, when we we'll start i mean you know next lecture we'll start using our software perfectly so stay with us and like us and if you think that that is helpful for you please join as a member or support us by liking our, our video okay i mean super like and uh, also don't forget to comment to our channel and if you need any extra materials then go to our website this link are given in description so thank you thank you very much still stay connected to next video